Marchesa 2021, the largest CEDH tournament charity event, is coming March 27th. The tournament is raising money for Gamers Helping Gamers, a scholarship program for young MTG players. Registration for the tournament opens March 13th, and you can come watch it on Twitch on the 27th. Playing with Power will be there casting the event from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern and also casting the finals. Anyone interested in trying out CDH can do so on Practice Day, March 13th, in the Marchesa Discord. All links are in the description below. Come help support a good cause and play some CEDH. See you there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. For tonight's game, the Playing With Power team decided to sleep up some of their personal favorite commanders. Each player is primed and ready to play. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Ryan, piloting Elsha of the Infinite. This is a mid-range deck that leans heavily into artifact synergies. Elsha's ability is not to be taken lightly. Elsha wins with a Sensei's Divining Top combo. Ryan's opening hand contains a Sabine's Reclamation, Brain Freeze, Jataxian Probe, Talisman of Creativity, Enlightened Tutor, Windswept Heath, and a Jeska's Will. Next, we have Zack, piloting Kess, Dissident Mage. This is a mid-range deck that has Storm, Ad Nauseum, and Consultation Lines. Zack's opening hand contains a Scalding Tarn, Mana Vault, Dark Confidant, Gilded Drake, Snap, Flusterstorm, and a Limb Duel's Vault. After that we have Folger, piloting Yisan, the Wanderer Bard. This is a mid-range deck. Yisan's main strength is being able to play stacks pieces and break parity with Yisan's on-demand tutor ability. Folger's opening hand contains a Beast Within, Collector Oof, Nature's Claim, Mana Crypt, two Snow-Covered Forests, and an Elvish Mystic. Finally, we have Adam, piloting Riel, the Everwise. This is a mid-range deck that takes advantage of Riel's ability for huge card draw payoffs. Control and Discard is the name of the game for this deck. Adam's opening hand contains a Gemstone Caverns, Fiery Islet, Bloodstained Mire, Mox Diamond, Winds of Rebuke, Force of Negation, and a Hull Breacher. Without further ado, let's begin this rabid, radiant, rambunctious, ruthless rager. Ryan wins the Snowman Building Challenge and gets to start us off. But Adam has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Force of Negation. Ryan draws a card for turn and pays two life to cast Jataxian Pro, targeting Folger. He looks at Folger's hand and draws a card. He plays a Windswept Heath. He cracks it, pays one life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. He follows it up by casting a Talisman of Creativity. Ryan passes to Zack. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays one life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Vault. Zack passes. Folger draws a card for turn and plays a Snow Covered Forest. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts his commander, Yisan, the Wanderer Bard. He passes the turn. Adam draws a card for turn and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays one life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Fiery Islet. Adam casts his commander, Riel the Everwise. Adam ships the turn. Ryan draws and casts Chrome Mox, regretfully imprinting Jessica's Will. He taps Talisman of Creativity to cast his commander, Elsha of the Infinite. Ryan passes. Zack draws and plays a Gemstone Caverns for turn. He casts a Dark Confidant. Zack ends the turn. During his upkeep, Folger loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He casts an Elvish Mystic. He follows it up by casting Collector Oof. Ryan cries, and Folger moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Yisan. Zack doesn't block and takes the hit. Folger passes to Adam. Adam draws and starts off by casting Burning Inquiry. Each player draws 3 cards and then discards 3 cards at random. Riel triggers and Adam draws 3 more cards. He plays an Island and then ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays an Academy Ruins. Locked out by the Collector Oof, Ryan moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Elsha. Zack doesn't block and takes the hit. Ryan ends his turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Adam casts Firestorm, discarding three cards and targeting Yisan, Elsha, and Dark Confidant. Riel triggers and Adam draws three cards. In response, Ryan casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Collector Oof. Elsha's prowess ability triggers and she gets plus one plus one until the end of turn. Collector Oof bounces back to Folger's hand and he does not continue the chain. Then Firestorm kills Yizan and Dark Confidant. Then the turn passes to Zack. Zack draws and casts a Yogmoth's Will. It resolves, exiles itself, and Zack plays a Scalding Tarn from his graveyard. He cracks it, pays one life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. 
He casts Snap from his graveyard, bouncing Elvish Mystic back to Folger's hand and untapping two lands. He casts an Imperial Seal from his graveyard. Zack fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand to add a red. He casts a Rhystic Study. Zack ships the turn. During his upkeep, Folger loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Snow-Covered Forest. He casts an Elvish Mystic, paying for Rhystic Study. He passes to Adam. Adam draws and plays a Prismatic Vista. He cracks it, pays one life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He casts an Arcane Signet, paying for Rhystic Study. Adam moves to combat and attacks Zack with Riel. Zack takes four damage. Adam ends his turn. Ryan draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Elsha. Zack takes the hit, and Ryan passes. During his draw step, Zack takes the damage from his Mana Vault. He plays a Flooded Strand. He casts a Gilded Drake. In response, Ryan taps Talisman of Creativity to cast Brainstorm from the top of his library through Elsha. Rhystic Study triggers, and Ryan pays for it. With Brainstorm on the stack, Adam responds by flashing in Hull Breacher. Rhystic Study triggers, and Zack draws. Ryan can't do anything and has to watch as Brainstorm resolves. He draws zero, Adam creates three treasures, and then Ryan puts two cards on top of his library. Gilded Drake enters the battlefield, and Zack targets the Hull Breacher. In response, Adam casts a Braid, targeting Gilded Drake. Zack responds by cracking Flooded Strand, paying one life, and fetching up an island onto the battlefield. He casts Spell Pierce, countering a Braid. Gilded Drake then exchanges control with Hull Breacher, and Zack passes the turn to Folger. During his upkeep, Folger wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays a Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. He recasts Collector Oof, Pain for Rhystic Study. In response, Ryan casts an Enlightened Tutor off of the top of his library through Elsha. Rhystic Study triggers, and Ryan pays for it. Ryan fetches up a Sensei's Divining Top onto the top of his library. He then casts Sensei's Divining Top off of the top of his library through Elsha, Pain for Rhystic Study. Collector Oof resolves, and Folger ends his turn. Adam draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Riel and Zack with Gilded Drake. Neither block, Ryan takes 5, and Zack takes 3. In his second main phase, Adam casts Cursed Totem, paying for Rhystic Study. Adam shifts the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws, holds open mana, and passes the turn. During his draw step, Zack takes a damage from his Mana Vault. He casts his commander, Cast Dissonant Mage. He ends the turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Folger casts Nature's Claim, targeting Cursed Totem, paying for Rhystic Study. Cursed Totem is destroyed, and Adam gains 4 life. During his upkeep, Folger wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and casts Scrib Ranger, paying for Rhystic Study. He activates Scrib Ranger, bouncing a Snow Covered Forest to his hand and untapping Elvish Mystic. He plays a Snow Covered Forest. Folger passes to Adam. Adam draws and casts Pyroclasm, paying for Rhystic Study. Pyroclasm resolves and kills Elvish Mystic, Scrib Ranger, and most importantly for Ryan, Collector Oof and Hull Breacher. Adam moves to combat and attacks Folger with Riel and Zack with Gilded Drake. Neither block, Folger takes six, and Zack takes three. Adam passes the turn. At the end of Adam's turn, Ryan casts Mana Vault off of the top of his library through Elsha. Rhystic Study triggers, and Ryan pays for it. Ryan then taps Talisman of Creativity to activate Academy Ruins, returning Cloud Key from his graveyard to the top of his library. He then casts Cloud Key off of the top of his library through Elsha. Rhystic Study triggers, and Zack draws. Cloud Key enters, and Ryan chooses Artifacts. Ryan casts a Mystical Tutor. Rhystic Study triggers again, and Zack draws. Ryan fetches up a Silence onto the top of his library. Ryan passes priority on Adam's end step, and Folger responds by casting Beast Within, targeting Elsha, and paying for Rhystic Study. In response, Ryan casts Force of Negation, exiling Gilded Drake, targeting Beast Within. Rhystic Study triggers, and Zack draws a card. Adam responds by casting Muddle the Mixture, targeting Force of Negation, paying for Rhystic Study. Ryan responds by activating Top. He draws a card and puts Top on top of his library. He casts Sensei's Divining Top off of the top of his library through Elsha. Rhystic Study triggers, and Zack draws. Knowing that it's now or never, Ryan continues the loop. They repeat this process 12 times, with Ryan drawing 12 cards, putting top on top 12 times, recasting top off the top of his library 12 times, and Zack drawing 12 cards through Rhystic Study. After that, Ryan casts a Mana Crypt off of the top of his library. Rhystic Study triggers, and Zack draws again. The process repeats 5 more times, with both players drawing 5 more cards. Ryan then casts Grim Monolith off of the top of his library. Rhystic Study triggers, and Zack draws again. They then repeat this process three additional times, and both Zack and Ryan draw three more cards. Ryan then casts Talisman of Progress off of the top of his library. Rhystic triggers, and Zack draws. Ryan taps Talisman of Progress to cast Dramatic Reversal. Rhystic triggers, and Zack draws again. Ryan attaps all of his non-land permanents. He follows it up by casting Fierce Guardianship off of the top of his library, targeting Beast Within, paying for Rhystic. Guardianship counters Beast Within, and Muddle the Mixture counters Force of Negation. Then the turn finally passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. 
Still in his upkeep, he casts Silence, paying for Ristic Study. Then Silence resolves. He draws and demonstrates a loop of activating top, drawing a card, putting top on top, and then recasting top through Elsha. Ryan then draws his deck. He casts Underworld Breach. He casts Brain Freeze with a storm count more than enough to mill out Zack's entire library. He escapes Brain Freeze, exiling three cards from his graveyard each time to target Folger and then target Adam. Both players mill the rest of their libraries. Ryan passes the turn, discarding the hand size. One by one, each of Ryan's opponents attempts to draw from an empty library and loses the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congratulations to Ryan on his win. He did a great job of sticking in there despite the hate shutting down his deck. He waited for the right moment and snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. He was also able to set up a really spicy in-step win. The most valuable card in tonight's game goes to Elsha of the Infinite. This is the premier Jeskai Commander. Elsha's unique ability to cast cards from the top of your library and then get around timing restrictions is a really great one-two punch. Elsha pulled more than her weight this game. The in-step setup was only possible because of this commander. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. You can help us out by liking, sharing, subscribing, and also supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, I'd like to give a Patreon shout out to D Roach, Brad Tobin, Sanguinolency, I hope that's right, Snarps the Cleft, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Josh Kobach, Dante, Baby Jesus, no, no, that's not right, Baby Jeebus, Trey Payne, Rikeko, Baskin, Zods, Noah Saldania, Wyon, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Colron, Coran? Coran? Taylor Coran and Nick. Really appreciate it. You guys are the best.